The High Sierra Diaries is brought to you by L.A. Sleeve, resleeving your motorcycle, ATV, side-by-side -side cylinders since 1945. N by STI Tires and Tubes. The Sierra Nevadas is a mountain range in central California. Essentially, it's called the backbone of California, where it goes from just outside of Los Angeles all the way up to the border of Oregon, although some of it also runs into the state of Nevada. To start this series out, we're going to start in the southern part of the Sierra Nevadas. Although I'm not going to hit every single piece because that's virtually impossible, but hopefully I can inspire you guys at home to get up, load your bikes up, and go explore yourself. And maybe find that unknown trail that maybe your friends haven't heard of. Or just have a good time with your riding buddies and make some new memories. We start this series in the city of Tehachapi, which is pretty much the southern part of the Sierras. Me and Alex will ride to the city of Kernville, which is just north and we'll basically use that place as a base camp and then hit all the trails and the points of interest from there. So sit back and relax and enjoy the ride through my eyes and what I experienced. What you got going on there, Alex? I don't know what I'm doing, dude. I'm kind of got socks around hydration. But you know that old trick. <laughs> Did you bring... Uh... Did you bring your son in that backpack? Yeah, I brought uh, <laughs> Williams in here, like R2-D2. And we can't forget the co-stars of this series, a 2019 KTM 500 EXC and a Honda Sierra 450L. So we parked the truck in Tehachapi and the plan was to head down into Bakersfield on an old county road and then make our way to Caliente Junction and then head to Bodfish and then into Kernville. Already within a few miles into the trip, the landscape was absolutely fantastic. California does not get a consistent amount of rain, but this year we're finally out of a drought, so that's why you could see some green.
As we headed down into Bakersfield, the temperatures skyrocketed. Where in Tehachapi, we were probably at 75 degrees, but now we're down into 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we're making our way to the base of the Sierras here, and uh, it's looking good. A lot of good scenery, and uh, we should be into Lake Isabella tonight. There's Alex, there's tow truck Alex. It's almost like we're in Baja right now. Considered dual sporting, it's not like we can carry too much stuff. So once in a while, stuff will fall off the back of the horse and Alex here is doing me a favor. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you even rode a holding one. Yeah. You're so kind. I'll go back home now. <laughs> <laughs> To know on this trip we saw tons of PG and E trucks as well as subcontractors fixing electric and high voltage lines. Maybe it all had to do with that big fire we had up north, but uh, they're working on it, I'll tell you that. What you can expect from Caliente Junction and then into Bodfish and then onto Lake Isabella is just pavement that winds through old ranches, farms. There's even some old buildings to take pictures of. The ride itself was quite scenic, relaxing, and just nice. The town of Isabella was founded by Stephen Barton in 1893 and named it in honor of Queen Isabella of Spain. But who really cares about the history? It's all about what it looks like at different times of the day. Like I was saying, we chose Kernville as our central hub where we would stay the nights and then ride out of to try all the different trails and the points of interest. Kernville Inn is what we chose the first night. Now what's cool about Kernville is it has the mighty Kern that runs right through town, which is right there across the street. Kernville Inn provided a great place, and especially after a long day's ride, you could just come back go down to the river and throw a fishing pole out. It was really relaxing and no mosquitoes. There's a lot of mosquitoes here, Mark. Yeah, there is. Getting blown out there. So with all the rains that are snow, really snowpack we've got in California this year, the Kern River is pretty high. So is Lake Isabella. Right, right down there is Diane's Rock, you know? And then, uh, we're going there tonight. Ewing's. 
Ewing's sits right above the Kern River and has an awesome view. And their food's good as well. There are dozens of places to get a bite to eat in Kernville after your ride. But the place that we heard we had to try was the Kernville Brewing Company that has the most delicious cheesecake. My keto's going perfectly to plan. This is how you do it, you know? You ride all day and then you eat garbage. That's really good though. Very good. Halfway to the cheesecake. Now now what do you think of it now? It's mind blowing. I cheesecake and beer combo. I think it's the best cheesecake I've ever had. Yeah, I I I I'd be with you there. Best cheesecake in the middle of the mountains. We should take some for the road, huh? Yeah, let's take strap it on the front of the fender. Like crazy men. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys do this too, but on the first night I just couldn't leave the bikes outside, so the Honda got the kitchen and the KTM got the foot of the bed. I don't know, I'm paranoid. But the rest of the nights they stayed outside because both bikes have locking devices on the steering. Just like any trail ride, don't split just yet and go back to the truck. You never know what we're going to see and do. So to keep on this ride, subscribe. Also, if you look in the description box below, I left links and references to all the trails and management contacts for the local Kern area. So check it out.